back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy Love One and Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. You guys, Canelo is still the undisputed champion at 168. Yes, technically he had to give away a title. It's not like he gave it away or vacated it. They took away Canelo's title because he did not want to fight no damn William Skull at 168 for his titles. And can you blame Canelo? I mean, we don't want to see that fight either. And we don't want to see no goddamn Belanga, but I would rather see a Belanga or a fucking Chris Eubank Jr. than the fucking William Skull. All right? So with that being said, it's not really even a bad thing that's going on here. Because it's like the same shit with Alexander Usyk. He just vacated one of his titles, but he's still the undisputed champion and beat everybody at 168. It's the same shit with Canelo. Same shit with Teofimo Lopez in a sense. Even though he's not undisputed literally, he's lineal. He beat the guy that beat the guy that beat the guy. That guy to beat at once upon a time was Josh Taylor. And you guys, we are talking about from a technical standpoint because I know a lot of people thought Josh Taylor lost to Jack Catterall. As I said, the fact still remains the guy to beat was Josh Taylor. So whoever gets Canelo's title, know they still have to face Canelo anyway. And if Canelo really wants to, in his very next fight, he can fight for that very same title. So Canelo not really worried about that title like everybody think. Like I said, Alexander Usyk, he's not tripping off that title. That's why he vacated it. I'm just giving you guys the breaking news. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about some guys who can fight for that title. Now, it has to be William Skull because he is a mandatory. But if he could take some type of step aside money, we can get probably a mega fight for that 168 belt. If not a mega fight, a very good fight. You know, let's say... Uh, Caleb Plant versus Jamel or Jamal Charlo. Um, shit. Terrence Crawford can fight for that 168 belt against somebody. You know what I'm saying? Assuming he beats the guy he's going to face next Saturday or whatever. But that's it, you guys. I just wanted to give you guys some quick thoughts on this breaking news and his thoughts on it as well as my thoughts. All right, you guys. I'm out.